please welcome for the first time on our show, John Gosling. <laughs> John's girlfriend, by the way, was supposed to be here today, but I understand yeah, she's, she's under the weather. Yeah, I she's, think we all are. So. She's in Pennsylvania yeah. watching. How you doing, woman? Yeah, she's not watching because we don't have cable. You don't have cable? Yeah. Can't afford it. No. Got too many kids. No, we just moved. You and just that would moved. be a distraction. Yeah. Oh, a distraction. Yeah, and you want to just put everything in its place before you turn the TV on. Yeah, gotcha. Now, you moved into the house in the woods, right? Well, I have a house in the woods, and now I have another house in the woods. So you have two houses? It's Pennsylvania. Did you guys ever drive the turnpike? Yes, of course. And what do you see? Woods. Woods, <laughs> <laughs> woods and corn. Why'd you move um, to the house in the woods? Um, well, I originally, so I had a place in New York, and then I moved to Park City, Utah, then I moved to California, just, oh. I, but I always came home for custody. Okay. So I'd like move, live in those places, and then I'd fly home for custody, and this was in 2009. Mm -hmm. And then um, I moved back to my hometown, Which is where, I, where I grew up in Wyoming, Pennsylvania. Okay. And then uh, I had an apartment there, uh -huh. which is really not conducive to eight children. Yes. So it's a lot of sleeping bags and a lot of cushions from the sofa. Yes. And then I found a house on Craigslist in oh. the woods with no address on 28 on, acres. On private property. On private property. And uh, are you waiting tables there in the area? Well, I was. I was helping out the local restaurant. And then I got another job at another restaurant, which is 45 minutes away from my house and then I started maitre d'ing and working in the kitchen and doing other things other than waiting tables. I like it though, it makes me feel normal and I like to talk to people. Well I like it too, look I talked about it on Hot Topics that, mm -hmm. um, that you were waiting tables and I said well that's what a real man does, a real man does what he has to to take care of his kids. And I was just shocked that, that you were waiting tables and not working in your IT field, because I understand you're a computer whiz. Yeah, well, IT, my IT field was kind of, oh, I hate a cubicle, I hate it. Yes. You know what I mean? And then I, I realized that, but you know, it's work is work and you gotta get stuff done. Yeah. But I wanted to try something different. And I waited tables before, mm -hmm. when I was younger and before I was married. Yes. And uh, I missed it. It was kind of, it's like an interaction. There's no homework. Yes. You just do your Were thing. Were people coming yeah. in though and taking pictures of you and just yeah, wanted to sure. go there because so it's what? John That's Gosling? promotion. We could do a promotion. That's promotion. Yeah. And just, and then the food sells itself. So I really yeah. don't have to worry. Did you pull a gun on the paparazzi when yes, they I came did. to your house in the woods? <laughs> yes, I did. And you shot, well, now, now. I what, didn't shoot in the air. I'm not dumb. You shot on the ground? Yeah. What, um, what happened with that case? Well, they followed me home from work. Yes. So as soon as they hit my driveway, they're trespassing. It's uh -huh. posted that they're trespassing. And then they stopped in the driveway. I got out and I was like, you have to leave, you're trespassing, you know, and you know, they don't ever leave. Yeah. But then I just drew my weapon. Yeah, and then they left. <laughs> and then they didn't, they didn't leave yet. Oh. When I pulled the slide back, that's when they got in their car and realized I, I wasn't messing around. It's about around. to go down. Right. So and then it's different. In Pennsylvania, we have castle doctrine and different laws. So and there's like no that. lawsuit or anything going on with that. You're well, not in they trouble tried, for that. And I discharged my firearm. They left then. Mm -hmm. But then they tried to call the police station and press charges on me. And the officer kindly said, if you press charges, ma'am, we'll arrest you for trespassing. Oh, okay, got it. So it was an admission of guilt. Now, are you still involved with the lawsuit with Kate? Where she, you know, there was a point where Kate alleged that John hacked into her computer and stole some pictures and some very pertinent information. Uh, and is she is still suing that, you for that? That lawsuit is over. It's she over. dismissed the case. I guess I proved her wrong. Or yeah. she didn't want to continue down that road. But Wendy, if I could do those things, I wouldn't be sitting here now. Yes, if, if I'd be you were working that, for the NSA. For the NSA. <laughs> uh, how much money do you do you think that you made <clears throat> off of John and Kate plus eight? Because I made seven figures, but that's all gone now. Seven. So. Okay, millions. Not tens of millions. Yeah, a couple yeah, million. Yeah, I was a millionaire probably by the fourth season. What happened to the money? Divorce. Okay. I do say, you pay alimony? No. Do you pay child support? I don't. That's mutually agreed upon decision between Kate and I and the judge. Well, what happened to the money? So I got sued by TLC. So that was half a million dollars. Because you broke the contract. You wanted Correct. off That's reality breach. TV. That's breach, right. And instead of staying on reality TV and just pow soldiering on, mm -hmm. you wanted normalcy. I didn't want my divorce documented for my children to watch in reruns. 
That's very big. That is, that is, that is a very big deal. I mean, what, what child would want to watch the demise of their parents' relationship? Who knew that this is you? Like, you're an all right. Well, I wasn't allowed to talk for two and a half years. Yeah, so yeah. I'm glad you I came just to talk like here. I just kind of like did my own thing. Look, do you believe that uh, Kate was having an affair with that handsome, uh, tall, strapping, silver fox but a security guard? Him. He's married too, well, honey. Steve's not that tall, so. Well, <laughs> well, he looks tall in pictures, and it's all the same lying down. Now look. Mean, pop, it's paparazzi like this. Look, do you think that she's, uh, she had a, a little affair with him? Well, I tried to stop them. I mean, they traveled a lot together, you know, and I couldn't really do anything about it. I voiced my opinion. I thought it was awkward. You know, like everywhere. You know, do you target. think? Do you think, in your deepest of thoughts, that she, they've been together romantically? Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't think about it anymore. Yeah, you don't think. <laughs> I, I don't think about it. It's like. Mm. Um. So, you know, regarding you. Um. Oh, we're gonna take a break. I've just gotten the signal. Don't worry. We're gonna hold them for more. Cause look, there's, I want to ask you about your love life because your kids have said you brought too many women around. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Too uh, many. Uh, well, listen. And I want to talk about the children. I want to talk. I will list them. I want to talk more about Kate and the rude crazy that you've accused her of being, and how reality TV has affected his kids and why you're back on reality TV. Okay. So we'll talk more with John Gosling next. Interesting. You know, fame is a weird thing. I was just talking with John through the commercial. You know the place that he just uh, moved into was only four miles away from Kate. Yeah, so, and, so I'm not afraid anymore. Yeah, so, well, you know what? And then his girlfriend's uh, baby's father, uh, she has three kids, lives one mile away from them, mm -hmm. but John and he get along. We have the polar, like Liz and Matt have the polar opposite relationship as me and you Kate. You and Kate. Well, how's your relationship with Kate now? I can text her if you want to talk to her. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do, 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 can you? We just text. We don't talk to each other. You don't. No. Well, how does the trade-off? I, I only. Sorry to interrupt. I only know like what she says about me by the media. That's the only. Okay. How does the trade-off with the kids? Are you that family that I see in the McDonald's parking lot where you're not talking to each other and trading off the kids for the weekend? Well, I always have to drive, so I pick my kids up at the bus stop, and then I take them back to my house. And then for drop off, I drop them off at the gate at my old house. How do you think this is affecting your kids? I mean, your oldest are 13 years old. Um, and I was reading in People Magazine mm -hmm. that the twins say they'd like to do more reality TV. But I was reading in In Touch Weekly Magazine that you said, oh, heck no, the kids can't stand it. Exactly. So it's always a discrepancy back and forth. But 13 year olds, 13 year olds can speak for themselves. Mm -hmm. I got one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a, I think there's a lot of goading going on, you know, a lot of stuff speaking in the household, like my dating thing. Uh huh. Like my kid, my twins were nine years old at the time in 2009 when we got divorced. I dated three women in 2009. Dated three women. Okay, one of them was Kate's plastic surgeon's daughter. Correct. One was a lady who worked for the Star Magazine, who's now married to Lindsay Lohan's father. And one of them, I don't know who it is, but it's okay. So yeah, out in California and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, because your kids said that you brought a lot of women around. They didn't like that. Two. Two. So a you, lot of women, like. So do you do you think that Kate think tells them things like, "You say you want to do reality TV, and you talk against Daddy, or I won't get you an iPhone." Yeah, I think there maybe there's some. Uh, Goading. Goading and, you know, ultimatums. Well, I have to tell you, my partner on know. Dancing with the Stars was Tony Dovolani, and he had nothing but bad things to say. Sorry, Tony, but you know what we talked about. He already said them in Australia. Nothing but bad things to say about Kate, including that she wanted to be treated like Princess Kate and had Dancing with the Stars build a dance studio in the basement of her house. I saw that. And, yeah, because she didn't want to, you know, go practice like the rest of everybody. Oh, don't worry, as soon as it was over, they came and ripped it right up. Yeah. 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 Then they built a basketball court out of it. Okay, <laughs> tell me this. Um, would you let Kate have your kids participate in another reality no, show? I'll fight it. You'll fight it? Yeah. How about, how about if she gave you a cut of the money? No, I don't need the money. I'll just go to work. Yeah, if you don't need the money, not because you're a wealthy man, but because you have principle. Well, because I fought so hard to get my kids off of television. Yes. I mean, it didn't work in civil court. I didn't work with TLC. It didn't work with anyone. So I had to go to family court and try and stop it. Do your kids go to public school? No, my kids go to private school. Well, that's a grip of money. 
Well, they also have trusts. Okay. They have education trusts. They have other trusts. Um, Kate and I put 80% of the gross of the income for three years in a trust for them. Okay, so, so the, kids, the kids are okay. Yeah, they're fine. Oh, now, <clears throat> now, I watched couples therapy. Uh, it's very entertaining. Yeah, it's very <laughs> interesting. It's different than John and Kate will say it. Yes, it's very different. Uh, you were the last couple you and Liz to enter the house. I was surprised to mm -hmm. see you there. What are you doing back on reality TV? Well, I always said I would never film with my kids, but I didn't say I would never film again. Do you love the celebrity? Mm, not really, but I like to get my, it's different, I guess, being well known. That's what I say. I don't say famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. would you recognize him in the street? See, I'd recognize him in the street. There are a lot of famous people you wouldn't recognize him in the street. I would mm -hmm. recognize you. Yeah. How old are you? 36. 36. Um, so you're back on couples therapy because you need the money or? No, I wanted to do couples therapy. Liz and I, you know, every relationship needs help. Yes. Um, you know, you're married. Yes, yes, oh please, you know, everybody you know, fights. So this is right. free therapy as opposed to you free putting therapy, money out. Uh, yeah, uh, a way for us to get away, yes. which was super hard because we had to find babysitters in a day. Yeah, how's Ghostface? Do you get along with him? Yeah, Den yeah. Dennis is cool. Ghostface is cool. I can't cool. call him Ghostface. What do you call him? Dennis. Dennis. Is, yeah, that's is that his name? Yeah. Dennis. He's probably, he's probably gonna shoot me. Now. Dennis is Ghostface Killer. Yeah. Hi, Dennis. Um, yeah, I don't like. Now, now you have eight kids. Liz has three. That's eleven kids between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Will you get married? Um, I would. I like the thought of marriage. Um, like I do. Yeah. Like being committed to each other and vowing to be together. And you know, like when you see cute old couples through Central oh, Park. Oh yeah, they're cute. It's like. You want that. I want that. Now, okay, so you don't know whether you'll get married, you're still on the fence, but the bigger question is, do you want more kids? No, we can't have, <laughs> we can't have more kids. Did you get fixed? Yeah, I'm fixed. Oh, good, fixed. yeah, good, good for you. Um, I, is there anything else you wanna say? Because I think I'm finished with this investigation. Yeah, I mean, I'm a norm, I think I'm a normal person. Uh, ordinary, not normal. You know what, but it was ordinary. really nice to meet you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you too. He's a man of principle. And we're gonna be watching you, uh, John Gosling. Uh, you can see John and his girlfriend Liz on Couples Therapy Thursday nights at nine on VH1. It's very entertaining.